name is Mohamed al -Kouli. I'm the Director of Structural Heart Interventions at West Virginia University. On behalf of my study team, I would like to present to you our paper on the perception of stroke risk and the risk and benefits of stroke prevention strategies in patients with atrial fibrillation, a paper that will be appearing in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Effective stroke prevention relies not only on effective medications or strategies to reduce stroke risk, but also on uh, adequate patient understanding of, of the impact of stroke and the impact of those prevention strategies on their uh, disease. However, data on the perception of patients for their elevated risk of stroke or the benefit of oral anticoagulation are very limited. In this cross-sectional study, we've interviewed a large number of patients and asked them to describe their perception of uh, stroke risk and their perception of the benefit of oral anticoagulation to reduce that risk. The objective of this study was to identify if there is a disparity between patients' perception of their stroke risk without oral anticoagulation and their bleeding risk with, with oral anticoagulation compared with what we would predict based on the commonly utilized scores, namely the CHAD-VASC and the HAS-BLED scores. At first, we calculated the CHAD-VASC score for each patient, and then we provided the patient with multiple options to identify what they think is their annual stroke risk. We then repeated the same uh, exercise with the bleeding risk. We calculated the annual bleeding risk with blood thinners uh, based on the HAS-BLED score, and we provided the patient with multiple options to decide what do they think the risk of bleeding is. We found that the vast majority of patients with atrial fibrillation actually overestimate their annual risk of stroke. Uh, specifically, we found that over 20% of patients believe that their annual risk of stroke is over 50% and we found that about half of the patient estimated their annual stroke risk is over 20%. We know that this is multiple folds more than their estimated stroke risk by the CHAD-VASC score. We also found that these patients also grossly overestimated their annual bleeding risk on oral anticoagulation. We believe that this study has important implications as patients' understanding of their stroke risk and the potential benefit and side effects of oral anticoagulation is the first step to ensure compliance and achieve effective stroke prevention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.